Hey, what's up guys? Today we learned how to import a height map on a Unity Terran. So let's get started. Alright, so you're going to go in Game Object, 3D Object, and also Terran. In here, you will have a new Terran created just like this. I'm going to rename mine. It's actually going to pop in the project folder as well. So I'm going to rename mine for a level. And in there, if I choose it in my scene, you will have options on the left. Or on the right, my bad. This is um, this is all the things you could do with the Terran. So you can raise, lower the Terran height. You can do the same thing with plateau this time. Um, you can also smooth out those plateau you make. You can add some texture, and I'm going to add some texture real quick. So edit texture, and I'm going to add some uh, tu -tu -tu -tu, some grass texture, just like this. I can also add a normal to it. And just to make sure we have some different uh, things going on, I'm going to add a second texture. Lava. Alright, you can paint this out if you want. The, but the most interesting option we'll have here is in the last button here, the little gear. So this is going to give you the option to um, change the resolution width of the Terran. So you can put a 750 width if you want, you can put a 200 height. It's all customizable, so for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to leave it at 500, 500 and leave the height map resolution at 513. We're actually going to create ourselves a height map right now, so I'm going to go in Photoshop and I'm going to create myself a new height map, 512 pixels, 512 pixels, and make sure it is in grayscale, 16 bit. We're going to be using. Uh, we're going to be importing our height map in these settings. Okay, now so the height map works this way. If it is white, then it is at his highest point in the Terran. Now, if it is black, it is at the lower point in the Terran. To show you this example, I'm going to create a simple black dot in the middle of my Terran. I will go ahead and save this. So this is how we do it. We hit File, Save As. You save as a Photoshop raw file, and then you put whatever name you want. I'm going to override the last one I had, and then after that, make sure the byte order is in IBM PC. Okay, now we go inside Unity, we hit import raw, we choose our height map, and then we have to put the same exact settings that we had. So 16 bit, this is fine, by 5 by 12, 5 by 12. Byte order is Windows because we said IBM PC and now we can hit import and this is how it looks in the end so this is the exact same well this is the representation of the image we just made in Photoshop okay now I'm gonna go ahead and make something else some other kind of image okay let's go see the result in game so I'm going to save this as a Photoshop raw file non interweave order IBM PC save this and now I am going to go ahead and import this in Unity so import raw 512 512 Windows everything is fine import so it gives something of the sort so if we want this to be a little bit less um, I guess you could say extreme we can hit import raw again choose the 8 map and then modify the Terran size in Y for something like a hundred just like this hit import and as you can see now it is a little bit more convenient for whichever type of game we're trying to make okay so I went ahead and I created myself some kind of height map just like this using simple brush and gradient tools now I'm going to go in file save as Photoshop raw override the file I had Make sure this is a non interweave order and also IBM PC. Save this. Let's go in Unity and import this in our height map. So import raw and then choose the file. Make sure it has the same settings. I'm going to put the Terran size in Y at 200. And I will get something of the sort. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it at, <laughs> I'm going to put this Terran height at 100 instead. Okay, alright, enough painting. Now let's try this out in-game. 
I've imported myself a car controller. If you wish to do the same, you can click on the little annotation that pops uh, in the video right now. This is a video that is going to show you how to import the car controller for your games in Unity. So you can test it out just like I'm doing right now. And am I going to make it? Uh, barely. Alright guys, this is how you import a height map on your Unity Terran. If this video was helpful to you, please leave it a like. And if you have any question, make sure you ask those in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.